the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know you're going through the fire. It's getting hard to stand the heat. For our goodnight message on this Sunday, the 29th of January, 2023, Broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and inspiring message in the series When God Says No, entitled Not What We Expected. How much pressure it can take. How many times around the Their to his I suppose by now you might have gotten some strength when you have been thinking that your prayers have been in vain, listening to the series we have been undertaking from Thursday. And definitely you have looked at yourself and seen that some of the things have not been answered quite all right, but it doesn't deduct anything from the goodness of the Lord. When you look at Luke chapter 6 verse 12 to 16, you see Jesus getting into prayer as he is about to start his public ministry. And what came out from the choice that he made of the apostles might not have been what we expected to come out of that prayer experience. This passage shows us that it's good to spend time in sustained prayer prior to making important decisions. We can assume that Jesus' all-night prayer vigil was to do with the choosing of his inner circle of disciples. Prayer meant he got the best possible outcome. The passage also teaches us that what we think is a good outcome might differ from God's idea. Because Jesus chose Judas... After wrestling in prayer all night with a group of willing men from whom to choose, Jesus chose Judas. This passage teaches us that answers to prayer are sometimes surprising. And yet we know that even the wicked Judas played a part. He was not a good man, but perhaps he was a good choice. We can so often scratch our heads in wondering about a certain answer to prayer. What we got is not what we ask for or what we understand. We might have prayed for a spouse and we got somebody who may not be what we expected. We got somebody who has been behaving like Judas. But it doesn't mean that God did not answer our prayer. Those are the surprises we get in prayer. Prayer is about aligning ourselves with the heart of the Father. It's about his will being done even if it's done in ways that take us aback. We might pray for a good thing and a bad thing happens. At such times, we can only trust that God has some deeper good to fulfill. And in this case, Judas did his worst while God worked it for good. All things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. We can trust that good will have the last word because God will have the last word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. When I just came through that fire, not too very long ago, and looking back, I can't see why. And that my God was in control But on the hottest days I cry Oh Lord, isn't it about time But the potter knows the clay How much pressure it can take Yo
their submission to His will. He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time. It's gonna be okay, cause the potter knows the clay. The potter, he knows the clay.